Tony Montana and Michael Corleone, two iconic characters in the realm of crime cinema, each have their different sides of power and ambitions in the criminal world. Now, we love both of, watching both of them. While both characters operate within similar contexts of organized crime, their backgrounds are completely different. The motivations, their approach is just way different, shaping their characters, their journeys and ultimate fates as well. What I'm going to be discussing in this video is in depth of their character, exploring their motivation, the stark difference between Tony Montana, the Cuban immigrant who becomes a self-made millionaire who rises to the prominence of Miami's drug trade in Scarface and Michael Corleone, the reluctant heir to the Mafia dynasty in the Godfather trilogy. By looking at their origins, their motivations, personalities, values and ultimate destinies, we can gain an understanding of these complex figures and the world they're basically operating. And by the way, if you have already noticed, they're played by Al Pacino. Now, when I used to watch Scarface, I liked Tony Montale's story basically he started off from nothing and he just came with nothing in his pocket and he just became a multi-millionaire but as the movie progressed we started to see his downfall eventually his death through his personality cocaine addiction mistrust and there's a lot of other things that left to his led led to his demise as the audience were rooting for the main character to win and sadly for tony montana this was not the case whereas in the godfather we're rooting for the family to win and in essence they actually do so there are messages and things that we can learn from both but as i watched the godfather series i understood why michael corleone was more smart a sophisticated character taking out the heads of the five families which is a very bold move whereas tony montana we see him getting taken out by salsa michael is playing the game of chess thinking steps ahead whereas Tony Montana is like living his life day to day really even the surroundings there's more structure to the people Michael has around him whereas Tony Montana he has his childhood friend who's that Manolo he's a bit of a clown in my opinion as someone that just seems to be just come on the journey with Tony so let's discuss in depth the comparisons the backgrounds the upbringings Firstly, Tony Montana, who is he? He's a, he was a Cuban immigrant who comes to Miami with absolutely nothing, rises to the ranks of the criminal world through his ambitious ruthlessness and street smarts. Now you have to give him a lot of credit there of what he's achieved. Michael, on the other hand's background is a bit different. He's a son of somebody of Michael Vito Corleone, the head of the powerful mafia family in the United States. Michael initially wanted to start a legitimate life but got drawn into the family business now let's look at the motivations of both tony is primarily driven by desire for power wealth and respect he wants to live the american dream he wants to rise to the top of the drug trade and become the most powerful figure in miami and he'll do anything to get there michael corleone initially like i mentioned earlier he just wants to live a legitimate lifestyle but unfortunately he was drawn in through a certain set, set of circumstances which made him take the leadership role of the family business to protect his loved ones and maintain the family's power personalities and temperaments tony montana is very brash impulsive and prone to violence he's known for his fierce temper excessive pride and he's got a lack of patience so just let him down there's loads of different weaknesses were often led to his downfall we actually see Similar characteristics of Tony Montana in Michael Corleone's brother, Sonny Corleone, mainly the anger and the impulsiveness. Now, let me give you an example that comes to mind is when we see Sonny Corleone getting set up and murdered by Barzini with the help of Sonny's brother, Lo Carlo. Tony Montana is murdered in a similar fashion but different circumstances. Michael, on the other hand, is very calm calculate is strategic he is known for his intelligence patience and he's maintaining his control throughout even in the face of extreme pressure he's, he's carefully planning his moves ahead and willing to make difficult decisions even to achieve his goals he's completely the opposite of tony montana you, can, you can't read michael corley on what he's thinking in his brain he's calm he's giving his enemies the assurance that everything's fine there's no issues with us let's get on with each other and through the element of surprise he strikes them and takes them all out 
values and loyalties tony montana is primarily loyal to himself and his own ambitions while he may form some sort of temporary alliance with his others his loyalty ultimately lies with whatever can help him get to the ladder, ladder of power <coughs> michael he is deeply loyal to his family and criminal enterprise michael prioritizes the interests of the corleone family above all else and is willing to take sacrifice his own happiness for the sake of the family family's legacy endings tony montana's story ends tragically with the death of hail of bullets after his empire crumbles and collapses due to his excessive greed and reckless behavior. Michael, his story ends with him achieving his goal of becoming the head of the Corleone family and consolidating its power. However, he loses his family member and ultimately dies alone, reflecting the cost of the choices and the corruption of his own soul. He even goes out to kill his own brother. I can't believe that for betraying him, which I believe that the move of sending his brother Fredo to Vegas was a bad move in the first place. Fredo is not an intelligent person and is easily manipulated basically. So the family should have just kept him out of the family business completely. In essence, Fredo should have been the one that was in the legitimate path. So in summary, while both Tony Montana and Michael Corleone are iconic characters in the crime genre, they have distinct backgrounds and personalities which are completely different and dif differentiates them from each other. Now, if Tony Montana and Michael Corleone had gone to war with each other, it's, we all know what the outcome would be. Michael Corleone will definitely come out on top. I feel Tony Montana is like a, a ticking time bomb. Now, he has done well to get up the rankings. He actually done it by himself, whereas Michael took the role and he actually took it to the next level. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys leave a comment below and if you like this video today i'll really appreciate it if you like comment and share this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you